Uh, about the program, I think everyone is aware that uh, we have a competition starting on 25th to 29th and uh, we are receiving 11 teams plus the Rwandan team. Mm -hmm. uh, but what maybe people know is that now we have confirmation because teams have started coming mm -hmm. and uh, up to this date uh, we have already five teams that are in Rwanda. Uh, if I may just uh, name them, there is Mali, South, South Sudan, um, uh, Angola, uh, Mozambique. Uh, Mozambique, and um, Central Africa. Central Africa. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're expecting the remaining teams uh, from tomorrow uh, till 24th. And uh, all the teams have confirmed. Mm -hmm. So we'll have all the, the teams and all the games. I think it's everything set for now. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Um, uh, you've also uh, um, had. I understand. Let's talk about Rwanda and the Rwanda team. Um, there has been a withdrawal. I've had some withdrawal of uh, some key players that were uh, called in from abroad, uh, including Mukama and the rest. Yeah. Or oh, will that, on that affect the preparation? I'm asking this yeah. in your capacity as the vice president of Rwanda. Yeah, I think yeah. That uh, as I said, you know, the withdrawal of some of the players. You know, I always tell people that. Uh, a national team doesn't have to be 12 players. It has to be 20, 25, even 30 players. Mm -hmm. uh, and whenever we have a competition, uh, the coach has you know, the facility to select the best on that time and those who are available. Uh, when the team is relying on one person or two person, uh, the person can, might get an injury or might be refused to, by his club to, to join the national team. So for us, we still have a, a number of players and, uh, that have replaced uh, those who were not able to come. And uh, the good thing is that uh, we do have uh, these uh, qualifiers in November and another one in Feb, and we have the final uh, uh, Africa uh, Afro basket uh, in August, mm -hmm. so we still have a lot of uh, um, time to yeah. test, to prepare, and also uh, call all those players that we think may help the national team to be to a good position. Mm. Yeah, I know Rwanda has already qualified as the hosts for the Afro basket in August, but um, you have given uh, high targets to the national team coach. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that, uh, yes, we accepted to organize the qualifiers in this November. So it's not only, it's not a, a friendly game. Uh, we want to see, we want to get the players tested. We want to test the chemistry of the team and also give a chance to the coach to try as many uh, players as possible. Uh, then we can't say it's a preparation game. It's a competition that we are going in, and we want to be the first in these uh, in these uh, qualifiers. We'll be having only three games, uh, and before that, we might have a friendly game uh, tomorrow or Monday. So it's still yes a test, but uh, we want to see how the team is ready, how the coach is uh, uh, is ready to to lead us to a higher. Uh, position in the coming uh, competition of Afri Afro Basket in August. What is the ambition of Rwanda in the Afro Basket? The Afro Basket is to be among the four best team, uh, in the so to arrive in the semi-finals. The semi-finals yes. of Rwanda. Oh, brilliant. Uh, good, good ambitions over there. So, um, as the local organizing committee, you're the chairperson. Um, what should the fans know? Uh, first thing is. Uh, we will not be able to accommodate people in uh, <laughs> in the Kigali Arena, unfortunately. As unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And I think everyone knows why, uh, because with the uh, COVID pandemic we have, uh, we have a restriction of not uh, inviting people in uh, Kigali Arena. Of course, there will be few MVTs. Uh, those will be accompanying the teams and the key uh, people uh, uh, will be invited in the arena, but the most of the fans will be following these games uh, uh, <clears throat> on TV and on uh, on the YouTube channel of FIBA. So still, it's still possible to watch games, and uh, from your home, from uh, your laptop, from your, your TV, the games will be live.
and the games will be live on KC2 on all our social media platforms, so do tune in. That was Richard Nyirishema, the Vice President of Rwanda Basketball Federation and the Chairperson of the Local Organizing Committee of the African Basketball Championship Afro Basketball.